What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another video of I Smoke Hip Hop. I'm about to just get straight into this video. I don't really care about the he say, she say, and all that. I think this topic is important for many men um, in America, mostly pertaining to America. I think this video is important for men in general. Um, the other day on my YouTube recommendations, I got a video from Battle Truth. Usually, Battle Truth's videos are always on my recommendations. Because I used to be subscribed to them, we did videos or whatever, this and that. YouTube, whatever videos you used to watch or click on, or if you're in the same categories of those people, you get the recommendations. I usually don't click on Battle Truth videos anymore because we don't see each other eye to eye. But he had a, a title and a topic that kind of got me scared for him and his situation. He wrote, she took away my child, something like that he wrote. Being that Battle Truth is like me, he incorporates his kids on his videos the way I do. So instantly, I thought about that cute little girl. I used to watch her on all his videos, and I liked the way he played with her. He interacted. He gave her a little advice. He made her feel wanted. Like, you can tell when he would do videos, he didn't want her to be on the video, but because, you know, that's his daughter, she wanted to be there, he let her and just, he basically came into grips of, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm doing a video, but this is my baby girl. And that made me like, like respected him more when he did that. Because there's a lot of dudes on YouTube who portray that. They're just, oh, I'm this nigga. And there's a lot of niggas. You niggas. You niggas in the comment sections. You got to hide like cowards. You niggas, in, you niggas who come to people videos who you claim you don't watch just to click a dislike. Nah, it's a beautiful day. Let me show you. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful world. Why would you want to waste time to go to a nigga video that you don't like to click dislike? I, I honestly never understood that. I don't click dislike on niggas videos. I'm going to just be real with you. If I don't like you, don't worry if I'm going to click a dislike on your video. Life is too beautiful for me to take my time out and clicking dislikes. I'll tell you later why I even spoke on that issue of the dislikes and this and that. But I see the video Battle Truth puts out. And my heart is feeling for the man because I'm thinking when you see somebody put a title like that, you can think many things from death, from police coming in and taking his child away, from when he wrote she, it could be anywhere, any situations. And then when I clicked on the videos, I got more information from it from Battle Truth. And Battle Truth spoke. I don't want to go details because you guys can go to go to Battle Truth's video and go click on it. And you got it's a day ago, and you guys can see what he was talking about. But on that video, He's basically explaining how because of false accusations and situations, his baby mama is taking his child away from him and keeping her away from him. And what it made me respect Battle Truth in that video more, instead of him griping and complaining and acting like, woe is me, he gave a valid reason why that's kind of messed up. Men, you guys need to understand. If y'all got kids, man, some of the things that Battle Truth was talking about is real shit, man. He talked about how she... Well, I don't want to go deep into that. He basically talked about another man might be around his child, might not have the same composure like him. He talked about how his daughter has certain um, situations that makes her act a certain way where you have to be repetitive with telling her to chill. And because that's his daughter, he said he felt sometimes it really go in on her. But because that's his daughter, you know, it, it's easy to restrain himself from doing anything negative like that. But he, he said something right. What about the next man who doesn't have any blood ties to this girl at all? What if he gets aggravated with Battle Truth's daughter and then he puts hands on the daughter? Or because his daughter can't, um, you know, like say certain things because she's a young kid. So she might not know certain things and she's innocent at heart. What if the dude try to take advantage of his daughter and she doesn't even know how to cry for help? Or what? what's the worst part if she doesn't even know if there's something wrong that the guy's doing to her? Like that, that touched me a lot, man. I'm not, I don't even know if I want to get this video monetized, man. Like that's something that, y'all know I small hip hop, I got a lot of kids. Bless one, love the ladies. Bless one, love the kids, man. Like. I never regretted none of my kids, and I always tell God I want many more. So long as I take care of them, which I'm taking care of all my kids now. But America puts a woman in a power play situation that she doesn't even really deserve, man. Most of the times, the women get so much power that even when she takes the kids away from you, she doesn't really want to. But when they get all that power, they don't want to just, you know, lose it and not use it. So they're gonna use it on, like, imagine how many times you got mad at somebody and you wanted to do something, but because you, 
you know, you don't have the grips or the ability to do it. You don't do it, but they have the ability to hurt you. I've been in plain situations where baby mamas took this kid or this son and made the son as a token, something to negotiate with you. And that's kind of foul, man. Like, they basically know, like, baby mamas know, I don't care if she's dating a hundred dudes. I don't care who she dates. I don't pay attention to that. I just, I'm not about to cry. Oh, she got a new man. In fact, I, I always... My last baby mama, the last dude that she had, I tried to shake his hands. You feel me? He didn't want to shake hands. To the point I had to incorporate my... Bro, if you're going to be around my kids, nigga, I need to know who the fuck you is, bro. This ain't about me trying to be your friend or not. Nigga was hesitant to shake my hands. Nigga, if you're going to act funny like that, then don't get mad one day if I see you around my kid and I walk up to you like a sucker-ass nigga and I grab my child from you. Or maybe it might get conversational and that's how so many dudes get killed, man. Because of the government and these women, the two evil entities that go hand to hand. So you telling me, I seen a, uh, check this out, y'all. I seen a woman the other day, right? A woman the other day on, on live TV, right? I forgot what type of blog she was doing. And she was snapping, right? Saying that, oh, okay. I mean, it was, the, okay, I know what it was. It was on paternity court. I don't know if y'all watch that garbage paternity court but it was on paternity court and i'm checking this garbage mess and here's this lady telling the the husband well i'm not you think i'm crazy to let my kid go across the street i mean ac across the um state what kind of mother would i be huh did this bitch really just say what type of mother would she be by letting her kid travel across the state to go to see the dad time out don't it take two of you motherfuckers to make this child how do you get to say, have a say so when or or where can this child go and me being the man, I have none? So I have to just keep paying the money and I have to ask for your permission to get my own child that I'm already paying money on top of. And they like to tell you guys it's an equal thing with child support. They're paying too. No, they're not. Number one, they're not paying at all. Number two, even if they're worth paying, they don't get arrested and go to jail. Let's say if their check didn't clear the day or they didn't get paid this week because they were sick or something like that. They're not going to have Uncle Sam fucking suspending your license, suspending your passports, having warrants for your arrest. Like, that crap gets fucking tired. And what about if you're a man like me who don't miss payments? Not because I'm the greatest man in the world. I have a fear of missing one payment and now I'm arrested. The domino effect takes place. How I'm going to take care of my other kids because of this one child and because of a late payment. I'm treated like I'm the unit bomber. Like I'm a goddamn criminal over some payment situations that everybody in this world goes through. But because of in America, I'm told I'm a deadbeat. I ain't shit. And this little lousy ass bitch gets to go to court and snap and pop off in any assessments and i'm the one who get fucked over guess what guys even if you paying every single payment i've been through this multiple occasions and i got brothers and friends on child support you can pay every single payment the state will make countless mistakes regarding your from the child support um offices all the way to tallahassee whatever your um your main state dmvs are and all that they will make a mistake and suspend your license and at the same time have warrants for you to be arrested. Now, what if you get some anxious, overzealous cop who's having a bad day and he sees a warrant for your arrest? He's already hype, already don't like niggas as it is. And I might be hyped for a situation or I might not. I might be blindsided. Nigga, pull me over, arrest me, something crazy happened. Nigga, kill me now. All because this dumb rhetoric bullshit. There's nobody on the... Ch on on, on this planet or you guys who's watching this video that can give me a valid explanation and claim how does this woman get automatically right for this baby because it came out her womb and don't tell me because she doesn't have to establish paternity the man does genetically really genetically a woman still has to establish paternity because there's such things such as surrogates but we ain't gonna talk about that right now let's talk about a man after i do establish paternity and i go to court which is sad i gotta go to court and establish paternity but yet if i'm if my name is on the um, birth certificate i don't have to establish paternity or nothing they're gonna force me to pay anyways or if this bitch puts my name on a paperwork with no proof whatsoever, they're gonna force me to pay this child. Like this crap, man, y'all can't have it both ways. There's nothing that can make me say child support is good. You know if child support was good, what the state should do? Every female who's applying for food stamps or whatever because they need help, 
If the state goes, well, where's your husband? We're going to make them put up. No, you should make a new law. If she needs help and they asked her a question, well, did you try to get help from the father of the child? And if she goes, yes, I did, but he doesn't have enough money too, then the, then the state needs to find a dad and give him them same funds and them same um, welfare and help that you give these females. Oh, so, so niggas don't have a struggle taking care of a family? I take care of a family every single fucking day. The heartaches to take care of a family and to have a woman who doesn't know the pressure. Women are unbalanced. I don't care what y'all tell me. They are. A woman only knows what pertaining to a woman. I know what's pertaining to a man. I don't know the woman body, but I do know it's us getting our ass kicked out here every day. Don't give me some bullshit me too statistics showing that a woman goes through the same thing. Bullshit. Bullshit, man. I, I see, I, I'm in these, these child support courts. I'm talking to these people every day. People ask me, how can an intelligent brother like you like Tommy Sotomayor? He talks about issues that I like, but what I told you guys I respected a lot about that man a lot is, forget, let's say if Tommy Sotomayor is a piece of shit, I still would praise the man because I don't see many advocates for men defending us regarding child support. Where you see that at? So, like, listen, y'all. For battle truth to bring that up, man, I, don't, like, like, I took over a day and a half before I made the video about what battle truth did because it kept hitting me. Like I thought about all, I'm in a good place right now mentally as far as child support, baby mama drama. I have none of that in my life right now. But that video brought me back to a dark place when I was going through that years ago. When, when, when I first ever encountered child support for the first time, I don't, y'all don't hear me. When I first heard about child support, damn near blew my heart out, man. So, so, so I understand what niggas go through. And by, like, look, I got a, I got one of my sons I barely ever get to see, man. Cause I moved to Tampa and the baby mama don't like the fact that I got a wife now. Well, I don't, let me be quiet cause I don't want no drama. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to go too deep, but let's just say she uses my son as a pawn. And sometimes I don't even blame her to keep it real with y'all. How do you blame the weaker vessel? I blame the system, man. Y'all can say, what? Well, get at me, oh, you caping for them. No, I'm not. I can easily go in on the woman and blame their faults. Because I do. The, the woman should take accountability and responsibility for breaking up her family by trying to chase the money and, and using the kid as a way to get back at the, at the father. But no, at the end of the day, who gives them that, that power? I thought like Donald Trump let me down, man. I thought when he said he was going to become a president, and not just him, so many other people said they're going to have new modifications on child support where you have these cards now that watches where the money goes towards. And, and let's forget the child support part. What about just the custody issues? The fact that Battle True has been arrested before, for some now reason, he can't get his child? Even though that crime has nothing to do with him being a good father or not. And I think that's unfair, man. And when you know you have certain dirty situations, you don't even try to fight your woman. Because niggas be telling me, oh, why you don't take her to court for custody? And why? Listen, so you want me to pay thousands of dollars to some lawyer for a battle that that's not even guaranteed I'm going to win. And after I lose that battle, because I know I, I know how my state is. Y'all know how y'all state is. So don't tell it doesn't matter where I move at, where the mom lives at, that's the state you got to go by in Florida. Family court ain't going to give you no type of real custody unless this girl's on crack or something. That's all I got to tell you. No matter, this girl can have a hundred roaches in her house, never buy the kids clothes or nothing, they'll still give her custody of the kids. I'm not going to use money for one child in a court support of custody, all that income go to the lawyer. What about the rest of the kids in the family got to take care of? That's food being taken out of that child's mouth just to make some insecure bitch feel good and some fucked up system that was made to break the family up in the first place. Have a say so in me being a father to my fucking child. Like I'm getting hype right now even doing a video about this. That's why when you have bitch ass, there's a bitch ass nigga called G.O. Engineering. He's part of the One United Front. That's one of the most bitch ass niggas I've ever seen. He just... This whole ass nigga I exposed already on a video I did said, how come you're on here? This is borderline creepy. You, you say you don't watch his videos, but you're watching his videos. You did a two hour live. My nigga suck my dick, my nigga. Mind your fucking business. It's whole ass niggas like you that instigate beef between two brothers and watch two brothers kill each other because you a weak ass nigga. 
Battle Truth didn't even react like you. In fact, Battle Truth gave me love and I ain't even asked for it. What I wrote was, we don't gotta be friends, but I feel what you're going through, Battle Truth, and I pray for you to get your child back. Real ass shit I wrote, but you had to be that one bitch nigga to come in that section to get my attention. My nigga, I like females, I don't like niggas. My nigga, you don't go to none of my videos, why did you pick that day to be the spoke person? Stay out of my fucking business and stay out of Battle Truth business. My nigga, when Battle Truth comes in your mouth, this, this my question for you, nigga. When Battle Truth comes in your mouth, do you swallow or spit? Exactly. And that ain't no shade to Battle Truth. That's shade to your whole ass. I watch you, my nigga. You the one who instigated me and Battle Truth over the, over the few years or whatever. And that's my weak ass for letting bitch niggas like G.O. Engineering. And if y'all want to know who's G.O. Engineering, go to Battle Truth videos or go to any Battle Rap content video. Look for the... He's a, he's a nigga that's 40-something years old. Look for the bitch ass nigga that's called G.O. Engineering. Yeah, anyways, man. Like I'm telling y'all, man. I'm about to get off this video, but... Go support that video Battle Truth did, man. Like, that's the first time I seen, like, real hurt. The nigga wasn't even into it the way he used to be. That's why I was like, I, like I said, this ain't about friendship or nothing like that. This video is being uh, advocating for all them fathers who's going through that same pain that Battle Truth is going through. Or people like me or people like y'all. If y'all feel what I'm talking about, let me know in the description, I mean, in the comment sections, man. And, like, all I can say at the end of the day, y'all go cheer that nigga Battle Truth up and go... Send him something. People gonna be like, are y'all friends now? Are y'all cool now? I don't know about all that. All I know is I'm a human. And he's human. Fuck YouTube for right now. Let's just have two black men speaking to each other when they ain't always gotta be about beef. We ain't gotta do this hugging out type of crap. Nah, bro. This is real life shit, geoengineering. It ain't always about YouTube clout, bitch ass nigga. This about two grown ass niggas making amends for the moment to see the comfort zone of his child and him being back in arms with each other. It ain't always gotta be about you bitch ass niggas. Oh, they beefing, I smoke hip hop, battle you. Yeah, you the same whole ass niggas that go to everybody video and do this. You know what's the real truth? I'm about to hurt a lot of you niggas' feelings. This ain't to everybody who watches our videos. This to bitch ass niggas like geoengineering. The truth is, you wanna be a YouTuber. But you was a whole ass nigga your whole life. You don't got the confidence or the security to turn that camera on and, and talk your shit. So what you do is like everybody else. You hide behind that profile and you go from channel to channel jumping off dick off dick, dick hopping playing superhero, instigating beef between two black brothers instead of being like, Oh, that's good. Them two brothers being cool again. That's good. But instead, just like a baby mama bitch ass nigga you are, Geo Engineering, you want to instigate on a video talking about fathers reuniting with their kids? Anyways, man, I'm your God bless one, man. Love your family. Love your kids. And always, always remember to stay blessed. And that's another thing. These niggas actually don't realize what my platform really stands for besides hip hop. At the end of every single of my fucking videos, what I tell you people, love your family and love your kids, man. Stay blessed. Believe it or not, I care about motherfuckers. Unlike you, geoengineering, I actually give a damn about who's living life and what they can. I don't pick sides and dick ride on team to team. Can y'all imagine a grown nigga that's damn near 50 years old. I'm team battle truth. I'm team I smoke. I'm, nigga, I'm team God. I'm team most high. How about that? Now have a blessed day.